Hi everyone, The Simple Dad here. In this video, I'll show you how to set a fingerprint to open any app on your Samsung device. So if you have a specific fingerprint where you want to press and it basically opens up an app. So let me show you how to do this. So first you need to go ahead and open up your settings. We'll go ahead and set up a fingerprint. So we'll go ahead and open up the lock screen and AOD. Tap on screen lock and biometrics. Enter in your pin. We'll go ahead and add a fingerprint. So here I'll go ahead and register my pinky finger. So now the fingerprint has been added. I'll go ahead and rename this. Now I've set a fingerprint. So now the next thing is to open up your Galaxy Store. So this is the Samsung version of the Play Store. Search for Good Lock. Go ahead and download this app, then open it. Now in the app, you're looking for a plugin called Routine Plus. Tap on it. And now go ahead and scroll down and where it says fingerprint to website, tap on this. And now here, if you unlock with the fingerprint, go ahead and choose your fingerprint. So the pinky finger, press done. And then I want to go ahead and tap on edit. I want to go ahead and change this condition. Then go to a website, tap on the minus to delete it. Then tap on add and scroll down until you see apps. And here I want to open an app. So go ahead and select that. And now I can go ahead and select what app I want to open. So here I can go ahead and choose Let's just say my Netflix app and then press done, press save, go ahead and give it a name and then go ahead and choose the colors, tap done. And now when your phone is locked, I'll use my pinky finger. And once I use that, this basically open up the Netflix app. So there you go, guys. That is how to set a fingerprint to open any app on your Samsung device. If you're new on the channel and you want to find out more about your iPhone, your Android phone, or any other social media apps, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel to become a part of the Simple Dad community. Hit the like button if you find this video useful.